coming up next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds. Fighting out of Mannheim, Germany, Bass. And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your phone. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's gonna be interesting, and it's gonna be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's gonna be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Lee. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it to him. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him 
working at trying to shut the liver down. Just misses there with the left. Unable to connect there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice punch by Lee. We cross the midpoint in round one. He blocks the punch. Left hook counter. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with meaning. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbows inside, because otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Blocks the shot. Got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, man. How many head kicks can one man absorb before getting separated from his conscious? One, normally. <laughs> this guy has a great chin, but if he takes any more, he's going to be sleeping. Nice leg kick lands. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Final seconds here. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! So a strong five minutes down. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going. In this he round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Right, goes back to that left kick once again. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Right hook to the head blocked. Hands up, hands up. Hands going. Yeah. 
try to establish that jab. Nice punch there by Lee. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice head kick. Absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, a huge block there. Just unable to quite find that range. Lands with the right hand. Wow, huge head kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Punch is blocked. Attempts the front kick there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Liver kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Connects with a right. Big kick land. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Give it to land exactly where you want. Ooh, what a head kick. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Beautiful body kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, throws a straight punch and lands. So that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. And both guys really throwing with authority. here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got it. And there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice body kick. Big knee to the body. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed into a knee to the body, it could in the night. Beautiful kick. Strong straight left there. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on.
right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Big kick. Big head Both kick. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Big leg to land. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Let's go, guys. Just misses with the jab there. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Beautiful head kick. Real quick leg kick. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, wow! Head kick! Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Okay. Striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. 15 seconds. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, so he'll change his stance. Right on the elbow. 
Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. This round, let's go back out there and look to finish him. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Straight punch lands. Circling to his right. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. It's not over, it's not over. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Comes through with a big knee. Oh! Nice punch there. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice head kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Right hand is there over the top. Yeah. Yeah. Able to check that kick as well. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he counters effectively with the jab upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this matchup. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Punches and punches, punches and punches. Let's go. Nice kick. 
All right, 45 seconds now to go on the wrap. Right, okay, okay, oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Good punch. Checks the light kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Ready? Ready? Fifth and final round. Oh, that right hand is on point. Just missed with the left there. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Finish with the kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Real nice body kick lands. Throws the right hand there. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Ooh, blocks the shot. Such a sneaky head kick, he did not recognize him. And now he's got a hurt bad. Oh man, head kick land. And he connects there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Three minutes now to go in this one. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water. Now the ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to the feet now. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, big diamond punch to the head. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Well-placed kick there by Lee. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. There you go. Look for the shot.
And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Big kick land. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Lee. Seconds now to go in the fight. Beautiful body. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp. Body kick right there, landed perfect. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges score cards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-44. For the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your ability.